Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am canning. I had got a whole bunch of cauliflower on, on my haul. If you watched my haul, you saw the cauliflower I got. So I have decided to pickle some of that cauliflower. So I'm gonna pickle some regular cauliflower and then I'm gonna put some jalapeno in some and then I'm gonna make a curry batch. And I'm gonna follow the recipe from A Good Life Farm. Constance over there has an excellent recipe. I am going to can hers up. So let's get started. First recipe I'm doing, I am following the recipe from The Ball Blue Book. Oh, sorry, I, ha I have you at an angle here. I'm just following The Ball Blue, Blue Book recipe. I am doing the pickled cauliflower recipe. Um, the only thing is I don't have pearl onions, so I put regular onions in there. I have my cauliflower that's been sitting in um, ice and uh, salt for the past couple of hours. So we are going to get to pickling that. This one is going to be the regular cauliflower pickles, and then this one over here is going to be the curry pickles. Okay, in my big pot, I am going to start putting all my ingredients for the brine. And I have one quart of white vinegar going in. Two cups of granulated sugar. I am going to put one teaspoon of turmeric in here. two tablespoons of mustard seed, one tablespoon of celery seed. This also calls for a red pepper if you want. Um, I am going to skip the red pepper because I am just going to throw in two cut up jalapenos that I'm just going to pickle right along with the cauliflower. I'm gonna get this on. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna add my cauliflower. In the meantime, I'm gonna drain my cauliflower and onion mix. This has come up to a boil. So I am going to put in my two heads of cauliflower very carefully. Without splashing vinegar everywhere. This smells so good. Ooh, I love the smell of turmeric. Whoa, whoa. Okay. All going in. And I am, I have my two um, jalapenos cut up. Those are going in and I'm leaving them in. Um, this is just pure vinegar and sugar. They will be fine. We wanna stir this in. Make sure those guys are all submerged. I wanna bring these I want to bring these back up to a boil. As soon as they're at a boil, I'm going to turn the heat down, keep it covered, and let this simmer for five minutes, and then we're going to pack our jars. Our cauliflower has been simmering for five minutes, so I'm going to bring the jars out and start canning. I am using my pure jars today. I'm going to use my slotted spoon first and just kind of pull, my, pull out the stuff. And then the brine. We only need half inch head space. Make sure we debubble without breaking up the cauliflower. Ok, 
Okay, we need a little bit more. Now it's good. Hopefully you can see I'm going to clean the rim here, make sure it's cleaned well. I am going to use some, I have a mixture of lids. I have some four jars lids, um, which I'm going to put on right now. I have ball and I have cur. It's an array of lids today. Fingertip tight into the canner. And we're just water bath canning today. And of course, I got my water bath a little too full, so I have to pull my jars out and empty the water into the sink. Everybody's in the hot tub here. I'm gonna get the heat turned up on high. The directions say to process 10 minutes and I am at 1100 feet. So I'm 100 feet above that for sea level. So I'm gonna process, I gotta add my five minutes accordingly. So I will be processing these for 15 minutes. All right, time is up. They are coming out of the canner. Oh, yum, look at those. Sorry, I can't, I can't tilt them. Every one of them is sealed. So they all sealed very nicely, and that is two four jars lids, a cur lid, and two ball lids. I'm gonna get my next set of jars into the canner to sterilize while I get the brain going. Okay, in my pot here, I'm gonna add the ingredients. I'm gonna half her recipe, and I'm gonna do different directions also. I'm gonna do the same directions like I did for the ball. Um, just to save time. I soaked, or I let it soak in, I salted it and put it in ice. I've drained it, rinsed it. I am now going to put into this pot two cups of white vinegar, two cups of water. Here are my two cups of white vinegar. Here are my two cups of water. I'm gonna add one cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna use one cup of honey. This is locally sourced honey right here. Um, the gal I sell jars to, uh, I, I have a couple beekeepers for customers. This is one of them. Okay, one cup of honey. One tablespoon of mustard seeds. A teaspoon and a half of celery seed, which is a half a tablespoon. Two teaspoons of curry powder. Actually, I think it's just one because I'm I'm having it, let me just make sure. Yeah, one. A 
and then a half a teaspoon of turmeric. I don't have pickle crisp. I'm out, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to turn this on. And then I'm just going to follow the same directions as the ball directions. That way I'm not putting an extra step in here. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And as soon as it's up to a boil, I'm going to add my cauliflower. This is up to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the cauliflower. Now, her recipe calls for red bell pepper, and I don't have any, and I don't think I would like that in here anyway, so I'm just going to do cauliflower. I guess I could have put some jalapeno in this one, too. I just didn't want to make everything jalapeno, just in case. And I also have one onion cut up in here. Okay. And I need to bring this back up to a boil. So I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, then I'm gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer for five, 10 minutes. The ball recipe had me simmer the other one for five minutes. This is a little bit more cauliflower than that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and simmer it maybe 10 minutes just to make sure it's soft enough to pack down. All right, I am ready to can up the rest of these cauliflower. Smells amazing. Okay, so I heated up six jars. So we shall see how many I get out of here. Oh, there's my potatoes over there boiling over. <laughs> headspace on these. And I need some more liquid. I wonder which one I will like better. I wonder which one my husband will like better. Okay, let me just check my headspace here. Perfect. Hopefully you can see. Oh man. The rest of the cauliflower today, I blanched it, I chopped it, blanched it, and I froze it. I did not film that part. And that took care of all that whole case of cauliflower that I had.
smidge more. And tomorrow I will um, take care of my mangoes. I was kind of waiting for them to get really soft and right before I freeze them. it and I have a couple little pieces left probably a half a cup I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge and get it cooled off so I can try it later I'm excited to have a couple of them left All right, everybody's in the hot tub. I'm gonna turn this up to high. Okay, these are all in the hot tub. I'm gonna go ahead and process these guys 20 minutes because her recipe says 15. So I'm assuming that's the baseline and I need to add my five minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, here's the next batch. It's the next morning. I pulled them out last night, but I was making dinner and I did not film it. They are all sealed nicely. They look beautiful and by the way, that little bit I had in the fridge, I tasted it this morning, and this is wonderful. I should have done the whole batch, and I will make this again. I will link a Good Life Farms uh, recipe for this in the description box below for you. All right, that's all there is to it. Easy peasy. You can also prep your cauliflower the, a day ahead. Prep a day, can a day. That way, when you wake up, it's ready to go. <laughs> Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook. And you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.